already. No. Is there anything else that you can think of that Mr. Collins said with regard to rent West Virginia LLC regarding this litigation that no. we haven't already talked about? No, sir. I believe that's all the questions that I have. Um, Mr. Collins may have some questions, and depending on what his questions are. Uh, I do, actually. Um, but, uh, <clears throat> let's see here. Where to start? Where to start? Um, Mr. Keller. Uh, did you file a complaint with the West Virginia State Police about a terrorist threat on February 24th, 2011? Okay, uh, uh, Mr. Keller, did you also request a domestic violence petition on February 18th, 2011? Yes. Okay, Mr. Keller, uh, wasn't the domestic violence petition denied because it wasn't credible? Yes. Because I waited too long to file it. Now, why did you file a terror threat after you filed the domestic violence petition? I filed the terrorist threat and the domestic violence petition. Uh, allow me. And then the state troopers took it up and come and asked me to take it up. Okay, well, Mr. Keller, uh, allow me to uh, clarify some stuff here. This is the first page of the uh, petition. We can enter this in as Exhibit 1 or whatever. Uh, it is filed February the 18th. Um, following that, here is a copy of the uh, warrant, I'm sorry, the search warrant from the West Virginia State Police in which the responding officer says he came to your house on, uh, yeah, I believe, there we go. Um, this would be page two of five. Well, this is a point that Mr. Keller has reason to lie. We've already had our disputes and... Well, that's fine. That's, that's fine. That's fine. Uh, but as I said, it's stated by the state trooper that he came to your house on February 24th. Again, I would like to ask you why there's such a difference in time in this. I don't know why they all come. I know the state trooper came to, to my house, asked me questions about it, and we were missing about petition. So therefore, I answered them. Okay. Now, uh, didn't my mother testify against you concerning unemployment fraud? Objection. Not your objection. Yes, and she also uh, said things at the unemployment office was not true. And it was true. Weren't, didn't I also offer to testify against you on behalf of your son in the case where you're accused of child molestation? Objection. Not the objection. Continue. You dressed me about my kids. No, I said I was going to testify against you. Isn't that correct? Same objection. Did I not also testify to your stealing other people's property, namely a chainsaw, uh, Harold Hines uh, Jr.'s bow, uh, committing fraud, stealing your truck from the objection. repo man objection. with the aid of Robin Bolin, stalking your son in Map Scott? Objection. To the form of so I've never filed a complaint with the mail service against Karen Carlock and yourself for potential mail fraud. No, it's not actually because it shows that he has reasons for making false accusations. Okay, that's fine. Um, another question I like that. When exactly did you become involved in this case? contact rent West Virginia or otherwise? After the state. Was it after the domestic violence petition? Okay. Are you doing that out of revenge? No. 
Okay. Um, interesting question here. Uh, wasn't Teresa Daniels an attorney for this law firm? Uh, your court appointed attorney in the child molestation case? Yes, it was. Yes, it was over a year ago. Okay. Uh, and did you lose all your parental rights in that case? Yes. Right now. Because it's in the state Supreme Court. I'm telling you, time new evidence to be provided, correct? Or new witnesses? Objection. No. Now, did, so you contact, let me get this straight, you contacted Rent West Virginia, correct? Yes, I did. Okay, are you doing that to get revenge because of the accusations I've leveled against? Objection, ask and answer. He's already testified. Okay. Matter. Uh, did you sell, trade, or give Omer and Sharon Richmond prescription pain pills? Objection. No. That's irrelevant. What is your income, Mr. Hill? Objection. I stand. Also, here is, uh, if you would like, a, uh, another exhibit for you. It is the uh, papers filed by the, uh, uh, what is this? This was the March 3rd hearing from the domestic violence petition in which it is stated plainly that Mr. Kelly's statements were not credible and his alleged threat uh, or threats to quote unquote um, blow up Beckley using gas lines and the power grid. I'm going to object. This is not a lot of questioning. This is a complication on behalf of the family. Well, I'm going to object to I'm done. I'm done questioning. I, I, if you don't want evidence that your witness here is not credible, Mr. Collins, I'm not here to put you on the If you want to ask questions, I asked my question. Please do. If not, if you're done, I'm done. I said I'm done. Mr. Keller, you have a right to read this deposition transcript.